G'day gang game while you're down here, how you going? We're back in the Lord of the Rings online. And uh, I think we need to go and head out to Coombe. Coombe or Coombe? Uh, so we need to go to the Coombe to plead for aid against the Blackwall threat. Okay, let's do some of that. I've just enabled, oops, I've just enabled some, uh, the names on the NPCs. Sheep and so on, and you can see all that. So I'll leave that on for a little bit and see how that is. Um, it gets a little bit too invasive, I might turn it off again. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, thank you folks for letting me know about the targeting thing. So what happened is I must have pressed X at some point. And so this was happening all the time. I couldn't figure out what, what the problem was. Like without, I could click off and that was okay. But every time I clicked on somebody, it would uh, target and hold that target. So it ended up being that I must have pressed X. So that's good. Good to, good to know about that. Uh, but probably will come in handy, you know. Now that I know about it, um, when I'm when I'm trying to target something and I'm just running around. Oh, well, <laughs> for the most part, anyway. Okay, so this is the quest location, I believe. Let's see what happens. Do we need to slash plead? Haha! <laughs> Do you want the people of Comb to help you? You're afraid of the Blackwalls, are you? Best run home, little fool. Enjoy your day. It'll be your last. Ah. Oh. We get. <laughs> I'll just slowly back up. Why don't I just take out those punks? Teach him a lesson. Alright, let's go to the farm. Return to Cal Sprigley with your dire news. See how he takes it. Cosmetic outfits. Oh. Oh, okay. You can buy some. Forge your own ring. Whoa. Whoops. Cow's pretty alright. Well, I might have a look at that later. I don't, th I don't think it liked it. Like me pressing those buttons. This cannot be. But block. I must write to Brackenbrook at once. No, it cannot be. My men traveled to Coombe only yesterday for a delivery. That is bad news, Game Olio Dan. The captain must be informed of what's going on at once. Here is a note for Brackenbrook. He knows my scroll. He will believe you now. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, nothing, mate. I guess we're moving. We're going back. Going for another wonder. Uh, just like Lord of the Rings, the movies. Lots of walking. Lots of walking. What else we got? Let's let's investigate while we're moving. Ah! Oh, this guy wants to fight. All right, I'll give you a fight. Ah! Down you go, sunshine. <laughs> Our friends from the north are coming. Too bad you won't be around for the happy day. And now you're dead. Oh, also, it, it, it turns out that I have auto loot on or something like that. Uh, and 
It must have been... Let's have a look. It must have been when I was setting up and I just saw it and I chose it. Um, don't know where that is exactly. Always loot all. Yeah, I don't know. Auto loot. They're always loot all. Oh, I'm sure it's there somewhere. But yeah, because I was wondering why I didn't have to actually pick up items. And uh, it's either that or it's popping up over here anyway. Brackenbrook! What Bra have I done? Oh dear lord. As Brackenbrook reads the letter from Cal Sprigley, his face, face is blank. He reads it a second time, and only then does he look at you. I have been a fool. Oh, what have I done? You are the man to give me some pants. That's what you've done. Yep, take that. You cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. I have trusted Calder Cobb and heeded his advice for a long time, even after my own son tried to warn me of his duplicity. My son John is a worthy hunter, but he has not set foot in this town for over three years. He will never forgive me for the things I said to him. Oh, what a fool I am. I told him he was not welcome in our chair until he stopped behaving like a jealous child. Now he and his hunters are our only hope. What can I do? He does not deserve to be dragged deeper into my folly. Nay, our chet must withstand this storm without help. Brackenbrook is hopeless. You should ask Strider what to do. Strider, you must know. You always know what to do, sir. Do not despair. You have done well. Indeed. Better than I could have done. You earned Captain Brackenbrook's trust. You must appeal to his son John against his wishes. I must leave soon, and Archette will need all the help it can get if a father's pride is at stake. Even if a father's pride is at stake, I am confident you will be able to bring the hunters in and give this town a fighting chance. In the meantime, I must make haste, and Deer assures me he just needs rest. Strider knows exactly what to do. So where's Johnny John Johnson? Uh, Johnny, oh, at the hunting lodge. Right. Johnny John Johnson and his band of hunters. Alright, let's go. Got a little bit of a trek ahead of us. I probably should go and be on the road. Take the road. Okay, let's investigate. Yeah, so I'm not sure where the auto loot is, but it's I'm probably, you know, it's probably something that I did select. Uh, you may see it. There's all this little text for my eyes. Uh, combat options. Social options. I don't know. But anyway, getting over to the hunting lodge, we're almost there. What's that to the left? I wonder if we could have actually gone through our chair out this way. Doesn't look like that wall's well kept though. No, probably some sort of hunting ground. And Granga and Alti Spiderbane hunters. Should we shall we go inside? I guess so, we'll go inside. Oh, there's two doors. Ah. Is a hunter. John Brackenbrook. 
old Captain Brackenbrook had best keep his garrison out of the lodge. We're free folk here. Well, quite the place you got here, mate. John? We will not abandon our ship in its time of need. Uh, intro of the exam. Yep. I presume you're here to bring me ill news from town. You come from town, do you? I've been watching from the bounds. The skies have turned dark and fell. There is a shadow of unrest over all of our chat. Our men and beasts and trees alike. Let me guess. My father has not the wisdom to observe such things. So you heard of his exiled son and came to me for aid. Come then, out with it. I desire to hear what you have to tell. I want your ragged leather shoulder pads, thank you very much. Calder Carbashan is true colours at last. I knew him to be evil, evil hearted, but my father is too trusting. He does not like to think ill of people. His blindness wounded me, but he is a good man. So, to answer your question, yes, I will come to Archet's aid, and I and my fellows. I am a hunter and a skilled warrior, trained by my father and captain, and I would rather die than sit idly by while foul brigands crash upon a decent peoples. Let us see what there is to see before the storm is upon us. While I gather my warriors and my weapons, you should sneak into the Blackwald's roost and uncover their plan of attack for tonight. Yes. I agree, mate. You also have another quest, though. Intro into the shadow. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. No, that was the other one. A little extra never hurts part one. Before you go, I wanted to make you an offer. You didn't accept that this if you want. But what we have learned about the Black World unnerves me. My father's militia will not fare well against such a massive force of brigands, and I fear that even the few hunters here will not make a great difference in the fight. Still, it is not in my heart to stand idly by. We may require an edge to win this victory, and I am willing to offer such an edge if you wish. I wish. Talk again? Very good, let me get you started. This quest can be put. oh. What? This quest can be purchased from the Lord of the Rings Online web store. Oh. So can I, to purchase this quest, click on the, click on the button to the lower left. Side of the quest dialog window that says unlock quest. This will bring you to the web store interface. From there you can choose to spend Lotra. Oh, okay, you know what? I don't want to really do that because I don't know if that's going to, it might stuff up the recording. All right, I'll just leave that one as for now. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Let's go do the first thing. Lovely music in here, though. All right, so. Where to? I see a ring icon here, but... Let me just see if there's something around the back here, or... That no, must be... It must be within... Yeah, it must mean inside. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit confused now about that. Um... Yeah, interesting. Wonder if you can actually... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know, like, how much... How many of those coins do I have any of those coins? I mean, this is a free-to-play account, so... I probably have none. Oh, I got ten! Oh, I guess I could do that one. Um... Yeah, it's just... I'll have to do... i have to check it out later, because I don't want to... What happens is I'm recording, and so if it takes me out, it might stuff up the recording, and I don't want that to happen, so... Only because it says web interface. Uh, if it just takes me here, that's fine. We'll do it at the end, when we come back. So I wonder if that's a if that's the norm, and, and there's a lot of a lot of extra optional quests where you have to purchase them for coins. That's a, if that's a normal thing. 
All right, anyway. Defeated one. Oh, let's set a trap. Oh, hang on. Not for you, though. For your friend over there. This guy right here. Step into my trap, sir. Step in. Oh, I think I killed him before he stepped into the trap. Oh, actually, maybe he triggered it. He might have triggered it. Try it again. What do we got? What's it called? Ah, oh, 29 seconds. Ah, oh, bugger it. Come here. Come here. That's four. Now we got to gather information. Uh, how does one do this? Oh, Blackwood's Roost. Okay. Straight into the roost. Some strikers here. I just want to. I just want to kill. <laughs> oh, there's another player. It's alright, buddy. I got this. So, we're in. There's a strike out. Ah, oh, here's the information. This is some information. Is there just one? Or can we both... Here we go. Beautiful. Bring the Blackwell plans to John. Now, last time I hit it, I was in this direction. It got dark as well. So, and now if I step out, I'll probably get light again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, so it was that particular zone. It wasn't a day-night cycle as such. I just happened to be in an area where it got night time, became night really quick. Do, do, do. It's such a chill game, isn't it? Mostly because of the music, I find. Uh, and that, and the, there's large areas where you need to walk. Or swim. Have a dip. Can we actually... Can we dive? No. Okay. Not deep enough. Alright. Up. And back into the hunting lodge. Right, let's have a chat to the guy. See what we can sort out. Could work, my friend. And fast too. This will be a great boon to our chat. Now we will be able to counter their efforts with the proper strategy. Oh, beautiful. And I get to have a guard's helm. I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. What an excellent fine game, Olio Dan. These folks, these folk from Angmar sound like the evil foes, but at least we know what we are up against. The plans also show a map that points to the old east path, which is just near here. We all avoid that path, save for Alti Spiderbane, a visitor from the east of the Misty Mountains. Speak with Alti and learn what he can tell you about the path. We can use the path to our advantage if we manage to successfully scout it. Done. Now, what's his class traits? You can now open your traits panel with the J key. Okay. Uh, and to spend your hard-earned trait points on new skills and enhancements, 
You earn a trait point every other level and additional points can be earned by completing deeds. The first step is to choose a special specializations for your class. Each specialization comes from comes with some initial perks and a unique set of trait bonuses that will automatically unlock when you spend points in any of the three trees. Even though bonuses are exclusive to your specialization, you can still spend points in trees in which you are not specialized for double cost. You can change your trait spec, respec, or purchase new traits at any time outside of combat, so feel free to experiment to determine the combination that works best for your style of play. Outfits. Lord of the Rings Online supports a robust cosmetic outfit system, which is accessible by opening your character panel and selecting the cosmetic outfits. You can choose an outfit, drag items into the cosmetic outfit slots and toggle on the outfit for the world to see. The items will remain in your inventory, but you can bank or sell the items and their appearances will remain as your cosmetic outfit. Okay. So we can acquire skins. Uh, Alright, so class trait. Spec 1, spec 2, spec 3. So we got Huntsman, we got the Bowmaster, and we got Trapper of Foes. Trapping? Trapping? Trapping, yes. Uh, Bowmaster, stationary long-ranged hunter dealing great damage. A mobile harassing mid-ranged hunter. So this is Gurging Blow. We got Barrage. I'm thinking Spec 2 might be the way to go. But I don't know, maybe that... This could possibly be something you use in the end game. Well, this is easy, easier to use for uh, for leveling up. Maybe? Well, it says we can choose any and then just, yeah, see what we think. So I might just choose the first one. Give it a go. Just try out all of them. Huntsman. We got no points to spe the specialization points anyway, so... Not like I couldn't really do much. Um... Race traits. Did anything change here? No. Okay. Talk to Alti Spider Bane about the old East part. Let's talk to the Spidey. Spidey. Alti. Alti Spider Bane. Oh, we also got a hunter here. You've had a long day, friend, and more dangers await. You should take some rest. There is a bedroll just over there you can use. I will make I will wake you if anything happens. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, I don't mind if I do. The bedroll is more comfortable than you expected, or perhaps you are more tired than you realize. You close your eyes before long. You are lost in dreams. Travel now, travel later. Demolio Dan. Listen to my words. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, my friend. Your people are short-lived, but the fate of Middle-earth is yours to command. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. I have seen lighted windows in the evil city of Khandoom. The dreadland of Amar stirs. Shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle-earth. I fear they will again.
My mirror shows me much else I do not understand. Some of this may come to pass, or none of it. That is the nature of my mirror's power. All of Middle-earth is endangered by the return of Sauron. We need strength, wisdom and courage if we are to oppose him. Men, elves, dwarves, hobbits, all free folk must stand together. You are near to wakefulness. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason. I saw you in my mirror, not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle-earth. Do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle-earth will have need of you. You must not fail. 